Karen, thanks for being with us today. In the wake of the deaths of Mackenzie Munias and Jenna Ostberg and the lack of details surrounding those deaths, how would you describe the mood within the Indigenous community? I think there's a lot of concern. Um, you know, the, the process that SIU has to go through, any sort of legal or court investigation, even any police service, there is generally a lack of information because you don't want to prejudice beforehand by making conclusions. So it's not uncommon, but I think um, the initial report raised a lot of concerns with the way it was worded. So there is a lot of concerns and we've had two tragic ones very recently, as you know, and alluded to. So it just builds it up. And this week, the board passed an Indigenous relationship policy. What will that mean? It's the first ever for the board. So what it'll mean is it'll create some accountability. It'll create some processes for the board. So specifically as the chair and the chief are mandated to meet with various Indigenous leaders, have dialogue, you know, engage in concerns, and then report back to the board. So there's also now that accountability component that we have to come back and say we did and what we did. And then from there, the board will discuss and maybe make recommendations or, you know, different ways to approach things. Or from that information, we can reflect that in our policies and our processes that we put in place. And the police service is also looking at a new missing persons procedure and the board has developed a missing persons policy. What does this mean and how could it help in a city that has a lot of missing persons reports? Yeah, so again, you're, you're aware of the, the, all the recommendations we've had and, and the, those are one of the, the bigger components. So it was a priority for us. The board has looked at all the recommendations we've had and set them up into priorities and, and set them up into working groups. So the, the, the board policy is, is just that sort of a policy and overarching statement on what the procedures need to look at and focus on. And then their procedures are the steps that they will take. So I, I don't, if you saw the meeting, you know, we went through it line by line, you know, showing we're engaged, we care, we're committed, and we want to make sure it's in line with legislation, with the recommendations so we can have better outcomes in the future. And you've been in the role as board chair for six months now. How do you think things are going? Is there a sense the Indigenous community is developing a trust with the police service? We have a long way to go to build that trust. It, it takes seconds to, to break trust, but it could take years to rebuild that trust. So we're going to, we're committed. We're gonna hopefully demonstrate it and show it by the actions we take building engagement, building relationships so that we can earn back that trust. That's our goal. Great. Um, thanks for your time, Karen. We're going to have to leave it there, but appreciate you taking some time for us today. Miigwech. Have a good day.